going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the Adventures of TNT. TNT. In which we're doing some more comedy for the week. In which we have Bill Burr in the song. Uh, I'm the sorry. Song. The song. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all know we do so many music reactions on this channel. We just think everything is a song. <laughs> the stand-up routine. Yeah, the stand-up routine uh, is, is called, what is gold it called? Gold digging shovels. Gold digging shovels. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because I don't want to call anybody. Oh, -ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. So it's like a hoe. So yeah. instead of saying a hoe, you say shovel. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you know. Guys, well, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Bill Burr with Epidemic of Gold Digging Whores. Let's go. Shovel, babe. Shovel. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would, why wouldn't, as, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? Brace yourself, Look babe. Look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. Oh, right? Kobe. The guy's getting a divorce. Oh. His wife's going to get 70 million mm. bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. <laughs> you know? Oh, Can anybody yikes. explain... She held these him down, though. No. Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter. <laughs> with a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Y'all choose them. Somebody, go ahead. Somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it. What, what, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension? Right? Get that 10 years in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. She going through a lot right now, too. Oh, no. That shit bothers me, man. <laughs> Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> <laughs> and every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. <laughs> every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot. Right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. How many? <laughs> How many more great men are going to get... When, when was this made? This had to be a long time ago. This is old. Ago. This is 2013. That's crazy. Because poor Vanessa Bryant, let's just say this. She held him down. She she held him down and she stuck by his side when he went through all that mess. And even during his death. Oh she, yeah, it was you know, terrible. Yeah. You know, and now she's dealing with her mom who is technically gold digging. Yeah. You know? So and that's that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say from two thousand thirteen, it's gotten worse. Yeah. So in some ways Bill Burr is like a prophet. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into this. <laughs> chopped in half before we do something. Let's that be chopped in half. Why is it so quiet in here? Because <laughs> they're with their oh, women. Damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? A, I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. <laughs> <laughs> There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. <laughs> yeah, they are. Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the air. Hell oh, no. So it's not obvious. Hell no. It's in the eyes. <laughs> the Let me see your eyes, your babe. You're trying to hide it's your eyes. Mel Gibson's high pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? <laughs> That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. Oh, man. I got to tell you, sis, I'm envious of women, okay? You I'm not saying be. your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. Not all you of know? them. People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, oh. she's considered funny. Right, nobody cares. Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. People thought it was hilarious. They're like, hey, hey, stumpy. Nobody cares. Do you think if a guy uh, removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most uh. effeminate color they could possibly come up with. 
All my heroes are going down. <laughs> uh -oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. <laughs> another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Yikes. Right there. Oh, my God. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through? Or do you think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom? <laughs> Guys go through that shit, Hell you know, no. and then there's no there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. That guy's yeah. stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Does it even make sense? Oh, Why man. would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? <laughs> hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize. Holy I'm just saying. Shit. You know? <laughs> oh, there's got to be something man. beyond that, right? Oh man! You know what I think it is. I think it comes down to the way he talks. Oh, you know? this is so. <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be. That should have been the height of his success. <laughs> because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights. Nobody gives a shit. He lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. Becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm going to become an actor despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he Man. starts making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you going to do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie or Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. Jesus. Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Four decades. Oh, man. Nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed? Dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? I made a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then what happens? Oh, Smoke clears. Jesus. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded. <laughs> oh, oh, like they man. have any idea what it's like uh. to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their Mercury Tracer. I had that the car. I dumpster. <laughs> really, you're beating them off. Mercury Tracer. Don't head on the Mercury Tracer. This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man her because he did Alice. that. Then the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many Ooh. lifetimes would you need? Nice. I'm on my wow. third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. <laughs> 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 Hell no. How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. I golf. I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies. Got to go home to the wife, right? No, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. Mm. There isn't. That's There's nothing true. out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing that's to true. prepare you for that for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, <laughs> right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, <laughs> run down the hill to jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. Yeah. It's not even a handbook out there. 
<laughs> I saw one article written about it on time, the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. Mm. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> God Ladies, damn. Ladies, you're going to feel a pressure. <laughs> oh, my God. How the hell would I know? That's a you don't want to hear that from me, right? Yeah. Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? It makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> you know, we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Oh. Right? Yeah, we Ooh. are. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. You know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't. Oh. You know? That's not you keeping your dick in check. You know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, mm. he can't do it. Because yeah. whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just, guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some mm. chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> hey. They're fucking bums sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. Hey, if that's what you want, that's what I'm you want. You know, that's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Mm. Doesn't make us right. That's right. That's true. No, it's unreal. That and all this hilarious. shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all what? this useless Nonsense. information. Yeah. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. <laughs> Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. Right? <laughs> this useless information yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire mm. seven minutes or less don't know a fucking thing about it <laughs> even worse you think it's your friend <laughs> yeah you know why because your dick your dick's like a dreamer you know? <laughs> your dick believes it's like a motivational speaker <laughs> i don't give a shit what question you ask it it's always like yeah yeah absolutely you can do it Sounds like a plan <laughs> exit strategy later we'll be fine <laughs> Where's your dick when you get caught, right? And it's just slumped over. Hey, I thought it was a good idea. You're laughing so hard. This must be true. You know that, dude. Your dick, your dick was the third base coach. It wouldn't hold anybody oh, up. It's just fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you. Aww. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank you. That was really good. Yeah, that was hilarious. It, I, was, it was really good. It didn't really even funny. feel like it was uh, 11 minutes long. Yeah. It this, was very good. Oh, you know, it, so many times we watch these Bill Burr performances, and it's like, yo, we need to go ahead and just check out the full performance to see Definitely. You know, what all was included in, in this uh, routine. But this was really, really good. I I'm, liked it. I, I mean, it you so were nice. laughing super hard, so yeah. all of this must be true. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's relatable on, for, as a guy, it's relatable mm -hmm. on a lot of different levels. So ladies, and, listen up. And uh, <laughs> and it, one of the things that made me think about, especially when he said that, you know, a lot of times men aren't prepared for that fame, that rush of, mm -hmm. of fame and what comes along with it. Mm -hmm. And he had said something like, um, you know, it, off in the distance, there's like the whores that <laughs> the are shovels. they're they're preparing themselves like in Braveheart, and it made me think about that uh, basketball player P.J. Washington, oh, in which man. he ended up getting that Instagram model pregnant, and it was almost and, and we 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 talked about it before, but um, basically this chick she was she was literally scouting this guy since he was in high school. Yeah. Going to his games. And she was a grown woman. Yeah, she was a grown woman. But the moment he got drafted, she was still at his games sending him signals. And they got into a relationship. She got pregnant. And then... They got married. Oh, they got married. Yeah. And then, and then she got pregnant. Yeah. And then she was like, yo, I'm out. Uh, yeah. yeah. $250,000 uh, $250, a month. Yeah. Yeah. For 18 years. And a lot of people were yeah. warning him and he wasn't listening. He wasn't listening. And like Bill said, well, he people was, were he, calling him stupid. Right. Well, he was listening. 
But he wasn't listening to people. He was listening to his dick. Yes. Yeah. So this was a very yeah. eye-opening experience. Um, yeah, maybe PJ should have watched this. Maybe, but yeah. I don't think it would have done any good. Oh, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Because people still, right. men still make that same mistake, yeah. you know, over and over again. Exactly. Because a lot you know? of, uh, yeah, that's what happens. You listen to your second head. Mm. He's like, go, go, you can do it. What about the consequences? Fuck the consequences. You can do it. Right, exactly. Well, so, I'm glad I don't have to go through that. And uh, right. it's, it's peaceful down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, let us know if there's any other Bill Burr um, uh, uh, routines that we should be checking out, mm -hmm. as well as any other comedians. Because uh, we were deciding on doing if we were going to do... Um, uh, it was George Carlin and Patrice O'Neill, mm -hmm. but we weren't sure because we didn't know if you guys would be down to watch okay. our reactions today. Let us know if you're yeah, down. So, yeah, so let us know if you're down, and we'll go ahead and we'll upload some more comedy reactions. Anyway, guys, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace. Ta -ta.